Uh, you know, speaking of turn one, that was the biggest pressure I got from Onhill. He uh, got me on the start, and I knew I just needed to hold my inside line, and I could probably hold it. And, you know, from then on, I just never even looked back, just pushed 100% every single lap. And, you know, my crew kept telling me a gap, but I just kept pushing and pushing, and just in case, you know, never know. So, just kept pulling it out and stayed there. So, you know, it's an awesome win for me. It's my first, and it feels good to do it in that way. And now, IMSA has never been to a street course before. First time, how did it go for you? Do you think they should do add more to the yeah, schedule? Yeah, I think they, uh, they definitely should. <laughs> first time here and first time on a street course, and you know, I guess it suits my style because it's the fastest I've been throughout the whole season, and uh, you know, I'd love to come back next year. <laughs> Perfect. Madison didn't quite conquer it, but you did pretty well here. Always fast, how'd it go? Yesterday was a lot better than today. Mm -hmm. um, I had a lot better chance yesterday. I started third, finished first. That was the best I that was a great win, you know, great day. Today I was back starting tenth because I crashed in qualifying, so I did get a good lap in, had to start in the back. But I worked my way up. I was just trying to get points and I came out with the lead in the championship and I had a good gap behind me, so that's what I planned for. That's, that's great. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to Coda, do you think this will help you out? Yeah, I'm really happy for Coda. Coda's a great track. I can't wait to take that race on it. Perfect. Brett, how did your day go today? Uh, we had a great start. Um, another good start uh, as well as yesterday. So today was good. The car was fast. We made a few changes overnight. Um, it was good most of the way through and had some contact during one, which actually uh, knocked my toe and steering out of whack. So the car was a handful to drive uh, second half of the race, but we managed to hang on. Uh, and it was a good race. Perfect. And Casey, another gold and Masters. How do you feel about your finish? I feel great about the race today. Uh, the challenge for me was a heads-up race with Craig Duerson, and unfortunately he got taken out at the start. So at that point, the hard part of my day was done. And I just needed to run clean and uh, have good pace, and um, I feel really good about today. It's nice to be here today. Perfect. I'll open the floor to any more questions. Can you guys go? I got one. As far as the track of suspension, the whole the amount of heat and that concrete barriers, you're like in an oven. What is going on in your head by, by 30 minutes into this race? Are you are you just hanging on? I mean, you got your suits cooled. Is, did any of them fail on this on this particular race? Were you guys keeping it cool? Today was a lot better than yesterday for me. After I got out of the car, you know, I was making comments. Me and Casey were joking around with the engineer. And he's like, yeah, it was 125 in the car. Why are you guys so worn out? He's like, it wasn't that hot in the car. And so today, I mean, we knew what we were, we knew what was going to come. So we were a lot better prepared. Brett, uh, any, all you guys? Yeah, with that? well, for me, I actually have never used a cool suit before. And I did not have one yesterday. That was a huge mistake. So I was, uh, I don't really remember the last few laps of yesterday. <laughs> but uh, I got one for today, and it was a night and day difference. So huge help. No, I was a little overcome yesterday by the heat. It was all I could do to hang on for the last five laps. And like Brett said, I don't have a great memory of maybe the last two laps yesterday. It was cooler today, and I was better prepared, I think, psychologically as well as physically. So uh, much better today. But racing on the street is a great experience, a lot of fun. I'd like to do it again. Hello. Yeah, for me, uh, you know, yesterday I didn't drive in the race long enough to experience the heat exhaustion. So I heard about it from, you know, some of these guys. and. You know, I went into the race knowing that that's going to be a, another challenge put into the mix. So, uh, you know, I had my cooling system going, and I just tried not to even think about it. You know, towards the end, it got a little bit hot, but it was it was fine. I just stayed focused and kept just focusing on driving, and that's it. And, you know, I just want to give a shout out to Effort Racing. Uh, I don't obviously I can't do this without a great car. They, they gave me just an incredible car to push every single lap, and without them, I would be nowhere. So. Thanks to Effort Racing.